Let's be honest, Windows 11 looks nice, but compared to macOS, it still feels a little stuck. So I started thinking, what if we combine the best part of both systems and just make an ultimate desktop? So I did exactly that. I built my Windows setup to feel like the next generation of both. Something between macOS new update and Windows 11 features and I'll show you exactly how I did it. We are changing almost everything from the file explorer, the taskbar, the animations, the volume controls, widgets and even the way Windows launches apps. It's not just the team, it's a full experience upgrade. We will start with the Fire Explorer. The Fire Explorer looks kind of cool on its own but what if we give it a macOS feel to make it look more nicer. So I grabbed the zip from my old video which showed how to transform your Windows Explorer to macOS and then open it up and we have these three folders inside. What I'll do is to head to my document folder create a Twix folder inside and here what I'll do is to drag all these three files inside. Next, what I'll do is to open the PG and here extract the release over here. Once I have it, open it up, open the release folder and here right click on the register and run as administrator which is going to change our Windows background to a nice beautiful background. Once I have it, you are going to see this blurry background and we are not done with the explorer. We will open the folder again, open icons and here you are going to see these team files over here. Copy everything up and here head to your local DC, Windows, Resources, Teams and paste it here. Once you have it here, you can press Windows plus I to open your settings, go to personalization, go to Teams and here select any of the macOS teams. Once you select it, you are going to see your wallpaper has been changed but nothing is changed over here. And to make it work professionally, you are going to use Rainhawk which is a nice Windows customization tool and the most we are going to install in Rainhawk are one US team which you can just open it up and click on install. When I mean command bar, once you have it installed, head back to settings again and choose any of the team we added and look at that now we are having these new icons on our taskbar and it's looking pretty good now let's change the icons i found this new windows 12 icons on this website and i decided to give it a try and to get that we have to go to our explorer tab again and look for resource redirect and just install now when you download the zip and extract you are going to see a whole lot of files inside what i'm really interested in is the rayhawk resource direct mode and i'll open it up and there's this windows 12 dark i'm just going to copy this go to my document folder go to tweaks and paste it here once i have it here i can just open my resource redirect settings and here scroll down and the team files we are going to locate this folder so i'll open it up click on this and copy once i have it just paste it here and save and with that we can get the new icons if yours is not working just restart your explorer and you are going to have these new icons with ease and wow look at that now we have this beautiful explorer with both the mac os and the windows 11 combined and this is beautiful now i'll head to my pictures and change my wallpaper to what i like again to keep up with the video now let's change our taskbar to the beautiful mac os dock and i'm going to use a tool called my dock finder and you can check it out in this video once you have this file you can just drag it into your tweaks folder again open it up and here you are going to see my dock finder once you have this just scroll through and run the dock 64 once you run it you are going to see this dock at the bottom and with this we are just going to change it to make it look like the mac os but with a nice view of windows once you have this dog just right click on it go to preferences and here there are whole new vibes you can change over here but i'm not going to go deep because i've made several videos about it and you can check it on my channel so i'm just going to make it quick and set it to how i want it to feel i'll just make it follow the system now i'll scroll down here and set it as a service to start anytime i restart my computer i'll just hide my taskbar and with this i have a clean look over here now head to the appearance section and scroll down and you are going to see the dog team here make sure you choose tahoe lights 26 and here you can click on rec space for the dog scan and here go with the tahoe light again once you have it you can just close it up and now this is how it looks once you're done with this session head to advance and here you can choose between any how you want it and i'm just going to go with this one and here I'm just going to choose this one to scale the icons to macOS look and also 
make it a high icon rendering once you have this you can just right click on your dock and wow look at that this is looking beautiful it's a bit chunky and not looking good so i'm just going to right click on the dock again and head to preferences and here what i'll do is to head to the look and feel and here i reduce the size of the icons and also change the scaling to select and light and here i'll just reduce the intensity of it to make it look really good when you hover and this is beautiful once you have this you are good to go now let's change our volume and the brightness pop up to a macOS view and to do that you can just scroll down here click on audio and here what you can do is to choose the macOS version here and with this when we change it we are going to see this beautiful brightness and volume control and this is nice now with the animations we can scroll up click on windows animations and we have a whole lot of animations to choose from and this is beautiful so i'm going to go with this version and just click on this to start it and choose this one which looks beautiful go to the closing animations and also i'm going to go with this version or maybe this which looks nice so feel free to choose whatever you want over here to make it look great and good for you now when i open anything or minimize any window you get this normal scaling and scale out effect and it doesn't look good so i'll just click on preferences head to minimize effects and here i'm going to go with a journey once i have it i'll just click on this to use the macOS minimize effect and with this we can just minimize this and we will see this beautiful effect and this is beautiful so with this if i open any window we are going to see this minimize effect and this is looking pretty good we can see all the windows are open on a different side and we can head back to the general effect again and with this we can choose minimize windows into the dock and with this when i minimize editing it's going to minimize it into the actual dock and it's pretty cool so with this anytime i open a new window you are going to see this effect and it looks beautiful if you don't want the general effect and you want a new effect you can go with the sack effect which also looks kind of beautiful with a nice sucking effect and suck out effect and this is beautiful if you want to go with anything different like the windows stage manager effect then you can just click on it here and just scroll through and turn it on for your window once you have it on now you can just minimize anything and it's going to show at the corner here and this is pretty insane so feel free to choose whatever you want for yourself but i'm just liking the new general effect so i'm just going to go with this one now let's add some widgets on our desktop to do that i'm going to use the raincourt app to install some new widgets on our computer and with that i'll head to the remeter section and with this we are going to see we don't have remeter installed so i'll just click on install once done we are going to use this rubik scan just click on install and click on install and here we can close everything up the next skin we are going to use is called square player which is not on raincox and i'll just double click on it to also install this one once you have all of them installed open raincox again and click on configure once here with the rubik scans just click on each of them and unload them one by one to remove it from your desktop once done click on only the clock and load it on your desktop which is going to give you this nice clock scroll down and here with the settings we can click on it and also load it up minimize our manage and here we can change the color to any how we want and i'm just going to change the orange color over here to a nice color on my desktop to make it feel like the desktop app once then i can close it up and move it anywhere i want i'll open my manage panel again and here scroll down to the square player session and i'm going to go with this square player s4 and just load it up once you load it you are going to see there's nothing showing because i'm not playing any music once you start playing music you are going to see this working smoothly and nicely but it looks a bit bigger for me so i'll right click on it click on edit and here with the skill i'm just going to change it to 0.1 and just click on ctrl s to save and close it up and with that i can right click anywhere and refresh and i'm going to see it being small like this and i'll just bring it down here to make it float beside the dock and this is beautiful once we have this there's one thing we are actually lacking which is 
how we can launch up so fast like the macOS and with that you are going to use a tool called flow launcher and you can grab it from their official website once you have it just run it up and here it's going to install the new flow launcher application on your desktop once installed i'm going to provide another link to get this sound cost file which is a team for flow launcher to give it a macOS vibe so i'll just copy it up go to my local dc go to users here click on some cost folder and here click on app data go to roaming and here you are going to see flow launcher here just open it up and go to teams and paste it here once you have it here you can just close it up and press alt plus space bar and right click on it and go to settings press appearance click on teams and here you are going to see some cocks over here press on it and now close it up and with this we are going to have this beautiful macro star command palette which we can use in looking for anything we want or doing calculations once we have this we are good to go you can also grab one of the wallpapers which i'm going to link in the description below to set it as your desktop background wallpaper to give it a nice look for this beautiful mac os feel the next thing i'm going to show you is when you head to your preferences again you can turn on enable my finder give you this nice finder at the top which is the mac os finder and it looks pretty cool with this you can do some few settings by changing your bluetooth hotspot and a whole lot of vibe you can even turn on your display and everything over here and this is pretty cool now the last thing we are lacking is a beautiful keza to elevate this look and i'm going to use this macOS taho keza for windows and you can just download it and also so extract this zip file open the taho keza and open it up and here what you have to do is to go with one of them i'm just going to go with the tailless and also go with the one with the shadow which looks more nicer and right click on the install and click on install once done you can just close it up and open your settings with windows plus i go to accessibility click on mouse scroll down again and click on advanced mouse settings and here head to pointer and choose the mac os keza click on ok and click on yes to apply and look at this beautiful keza on my window and this look beautiful now let me show you how to remove this thing completely from your computer you just have to right click on your dock go to preferences and here scroll down and click on about go down again and click on uninstall click on ok to uninstall this from your computer and you can just close it up once done you can just head to your settings and here we can remove our remitter and also the flow launcher so i'll get head to the apps go to settings and here look for flow launcher click on it and click on uninstall to remove scroll down to refine remitter click on it and click on uninstall to remove this one too and here choose completely remove everything and click on uninstall once we have it we can close it up and here open our tweaks folder in here head to the bg release and here what you have to do is to uninstall and run as administrator click on ok to restart our explorer and this is how our explorer is looking now head to settings again go to personalization and choose the default windows team which is this dark one now head to your explorer go to local dc windows and here click look for resources click on windows and select everything and click on delete click on continue and here skip to skip the default windows team and here you can close it up now open winhawk uninstall resource redirect remove us team hook and also remove windows 7 command bar and now we are good to go so this is it and now our windows is back to the default and there's nothing new on it again and everything is looking clear so this is how it looks and if you really enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video and if you really want to elevate this look and give it a nice glassy look on everywhere on your windows then check out this video